Welcome, everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to construct congruent segments using a compass and straight edge, how to construct perpendicular bisectors using a compass and straight edge, how to construct congruent angles using a compass and straight edge, and how to construct angle bisectors using a compass and straight edge. How are we learning it? Through the luck of the draw assignment. When can we use this information? To create matching sets of furniture or recreate a piece of furniture? And to cut boards into smaller equal pieces in order to create or repair furniture? How do you know you learned it? By getting a score of four on the luck of the draw assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over the learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll fill out your get it started. After that, I'll give you time to complete the luck of the draw assignment on Desmos. At the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your before you go. Your only homework for tonight is to continue working on the construction study guide and any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's talk now about how to sign in to Desmos to complete your work. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the link to go to the assignment. And it should take you to a page that looks kind of like this. And right here where it says sign in with Google, we're going to click there. And it's going to pop up with our email accounts. You're going to click on your school email account. And it should already have you logged in because you should have already been logged in using Google Classroom. From there, I'm just going to click start the activity and it will take me into the assignment and allow me to begin. So that's how you will log in to Desmos using Google. Let's take a look now at the luck of the draw assignment. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here that'll take us to the Desmos activity. Go ahead and click on that link. And it should take you to a page that looks like this. We'll go ahead and click start the activity. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. We'll go ahead and click next. There's a little introduction video here for you to watch on drawing. So go ahead and watch that video now. Now, assignment overview. In this activity, we will be creating a drawing with various shapes to create a masterpiece to be hung in an art gallery. In order to maintain symmetry and balance in our drawing, we will use a compass and straight edge to create and copy shapes as well as shrink them. So we'll go ahead and click next. Let's take a look now at how we can construct congruent segments using Desmos. So we're given a segment here, and we're going to go ahead and create our pop-out menu. So we click on this button here to pop out our menu. And now we have a line segment here, and we need a baseline to match it. So I'm going to use the ray tool, and I could create a ray in the same direction, or I could do it in a different direction, something like this. Either way works. And now I need to create a circle with this radius here, and then if I copy that up to here, that should give me the exact same distance. So I'm going to go to More Tools and click on Compass. Then I'm going to go to the segment that I started with and click on it. And notice now it creates a circle. And if I put the center of that circle here at this point, the circle is going to pass through the other point, which means it has that radius that I want. So now if I bring it up and place it here and click, notice it creates my circle. And I have a point of intersection. And I know that this radius is the same as this one. So that means this distance matches this one. So if I put a point where they intersect, that means that the segment from here to here is exactly the same as this segment here. And then we'll click Next. Now we're going to do the same thing with an angle here. Let's take a look now at how we can construct congruent angles using Desmos. So we're given our angle here. First thing we need to do is create our pop-out menu. So now we have our tools. And we need to create a baseline that represents the same line as this one. So we use our ray tool and just create a baseline, just like that. Now we need to find a way to create this line here. So the first way we do that is we're going to use the circle tool and go about this point just like this. And we can make this as big as we want or as small as we want. Smaller is usually better. So we'll go ahead and do that. So there's my circle. And now I need to copy this circle up to here. Well, we need a radius to be able to use our compass to copy it. So we need to create our radius first. So we use the segment tool and connect this point and this point. That gives us our radius. Now we can use our compass. So we go to More Tools, Compass. And we can click on this segment we just created. That's my radius. Notice if I place it over the top of this one, 
the circles completely overlap. So they're the same size circle. So we bring that up and place it here. And then we're going to put a point where the circle intersected our segment. So just like that. So now we have this point, this point, this circle. Now we just need to create a point here that matches. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a radius using the segment tool from this point of intersection up to this point of intersection here. So there's my segment. Now we just need to copy that segment up to here. So we're going to use our compass again. So we go to more tools, compass, and we click on that. And now we're going to bring that up and place it right here at the intersection. And we know that this is the other point of intersection here. So it intersects both of them. So now that would be my point that I'm going to draw through. So I put a point here where they intersect. And then use my ray tool to connect this point through that point. And now this angle has the exact same measure as this one here. And then we click Next. And then we'll do the same thing for a perpendicular bisector. Let's take a look now at how we can construct perpendicular bisectors using Desmos. So we're given a segment here. We're going to go ahead and pop out our menu. And what we want to do is we want to create a circle around each of these points that passes through the other one. So if I go to the circle tool and click on it, and I create a circle that goes from here and extends out to the other point, just like that. So now I have one circle, and now I need another circle that's exactly the same size with this as its center. So I'm going to use the circle tool again, and this time I'm going to click on this point and extend it to here. And notice now I have two circles, and I have two spots where they overlap, right here and right here. So I'm going to put points right there. So now those are my two points. Now all I need to do is use the segment tool to connect those two points. And what I should have now is my original line segment cut perfectly in half, so that's the bisector part. And then each of these angles should be exactly 90 degrees. So that's the perpendicular part. So this is how you construct a perpendicular bisector. And then we'll click Next. And then we'll do the same thing for the angle bisector. Let's take a look now at how we can construct angle bisectors using Desmos. So we have our angle here. The first thing we need to do is create our menu. So we use our little pop-out menu. And what we need to do first is we're going to use a circle tool and extend it out, just like that. And the only rule is it's got to pass through both points. Okay, That's, that's the only rule we have. So now. We're going to go ahead and put a point where it intersects the two segments. Next step is we're going to take our circle tool and we're going to draw a circle around this one, just like that. So now we have our circle here. And if we copy this same circle here, wherever they intersect should be the bisector. So in order to do that, I need to create a radius. So I'm going to use the segment tool and connect this point with this point here. So that gives me a radius. Then I can copy that radius onto this one here. So I'm going to go More Tools, Compass, and I'm going to click on that segment I just created. So now it gives me a circle. And notice the circle is the same size as this one. I'm going to bring it down and place it right here, just like that. And now I can put a point where they intersect right there. And I can use the Ray tool to connect the vertex to that point of intersection right here just like that. And now I've perfectly cut this angle in half. And then we'll click Next. And then we're going to put it all together. So there's four boxes here. You're going to recreate your work here into these boxes. And based on where it told you to go in the beginning. So like the angle bisector says on the bottom right. So in the bottom right, I'm going to recreate my angle bisector by creating an angle and then cutting it in half. And you'll do that for each of these. And then you'll click Next. And now there's a video here for you to watch. It says, congratulations, you created a masterpiece. Just make sure to keep your work safe so that some joker doesn't come and destroy it. So go ahead and watch that video now. Miss Vale, this just arrived for you.
Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence. And then once you've completed the assignment, we'll go ahead and go back to our Google form this, and then click next. This will take you to your before you go. Go ahead and fill out your before you go and then submit your work on Google Classroom.